Hey heroes, Cap here, back with you with another Marvel's Avengers video. And today I'm talking about builds and specific what perks you need to have on all of your builds to make you feel more powerful in the game. Now these perks you can be can be found like across various pieces of gear. I'll break down where you can find them, where's the gear at, what slots to get them for, and everything in between. Now this isn't specific for like Thor builds or Black Widow builds. These work across the board and you can find these perks on all the builds that I have that make all of my heroes feel pretty powerful. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, be sure to smash the thumbs up and hit the subscribe as we roll into that intro. Now, before we jump in, I am going to be talking about the five main perks that I think you need to be on every build that you have. And they, one, make you feel more powerful, but also some of them even keep you alive. And that's where we'll start is with the Cosmic Surge perk. Now, this perk specifically the reactive version of it. So that way, when you take the damage, it will trigger and it allows you to regain health over a short amount of time. This is good for people that don't want to put a whole bunch of stats or points into Resolve or Resilience. You can have that low defense, but if you have that Cosmic Surge with a high perk chance, you don't have to worry about this. Now, this perk you can find on ISOs and on slot 3 gear that's rewarded from the OLT, like I have on my cap and a lot that I have for my ISO. Now, best place to find this is from the OLT, the Cosmic Cube event that is ran in game and from DNHS and vault missions. You can pretty much get three DNHS per vault mission, run them, grab them, and see if you can get just the right one. You're looking for that reactive version. That way when you take damage, it automatically triggers. Now you can do the payload, which is pretty good, but this is what you want. If you want to stay alive longer without having that 1700 defense. Now the next perk I want to talk about is the Vibranium Payload. This perk can be found pairing with either like a melee crit or a range crit attack and they are in slots 1 and 2 as well as on ISOs. Now this is an easy way to apply status to enemies and quickly get them to that battery effect. Where you hit them with a melee crit, the payload will trigger, hit them, and if you have a decent enough intensity, you don't have to have a whole lot, but a decent enough, you're able to fill that entire status bar as soon as that payload hits. Now that explosion that comes from the vibranium status as well has the chance to injure the other enemies around the one that was hit with it. Any mission in Wakanda, particularly here comes the pain as it's a popular one and can be done pretty fast as well as some of the raid gear and during the corrupted vibranium event, you can find these payloads. Now from time to time, you can find them on some vendors as well and some other missions will drop them. However, the drop chance on other missions is very low compared to Wakanda since that's where Vibranium comes from. So really it's up to RNG where this perk can come from and the stats that will roll with it. Now the next perk I'm gonna talk about is a bit of a broken one as it's kind of misleading for those that don't know about it and that's the heroic recharge percentage. Now this one's usually seen in perks one and three and can be on slots one, two, and four. Essentially, you're looking for the 2.1% or 3.2% heroic recharge rate by any means or any trigger you want. And the reason that I say it's broken is that it's the percentage. It's not 2.1% or 3.2%. It is 210% or 320%. That is a lot of heroic recharge. It's pretty much instantly filling up as soon as you trigger whatever it may be. For example, the Wreath of Yggdrasil, which is a very popular choice among Thor and Mighty Thors, and you can find it actually on my Mighty Thor. My Thor, I'll put it on from time to time, as well as for um, Cap to keep the high damage output that he can do during his heroics. The Wreath of Yggdrasil is 3.2% heroic recharge by Odin Force. So if I'm out of heroics, I just hold my Odin Force, and all of a sudden it just starts refilling incredibly fast. Or right before I pick up a heroic orb, I just hold that hero or hold the Odin Force, and usually within two to three heroic orbs, I'm already full on all of my heroics. Now these perks can be found on all gears. Keep your eyes out for them, especially for that Wreath of Yggdrasil for Thor and Mighty Thor. Those will be life changers to your builds. Now the next one I want to talk about is Tachyon Surge, the status perk. This can be found on a lot of Tachyon gear from the event that's happening right now. So this is the perfect time to be looking for it, as well as you can get it from the OLT and beating the odds villain sector. 
Now this increases your status damage output and fill meter to get you to apply battery on enemies faster, as well as attacking them with that status at a harder hit. I did an earlier video that I'll tag at the very end of this talks about battery, how to apply it, and how to mix the Tachyon Surge with this next perk to get you that special unicorn piece of gear that everyone's hunting down. This is great for heroes who can innately apply the status to enemies and give them a bit of boost on damage, such as Thor and Mighty Thor, how they have that Odin Force that's constantly dealing shock. This is a way to give them kind of a boost to that damage, increase how much lightning damage they're putting out. And now this perk tied to the next one, like I said earlier, it will give you that unicorn piece of gear that everyone's talking about. And that final perk is the damage buff, or the way too powerful perk, I like to call it, as most of the time you already put out decent amount of damage. The damage buff just makes you that much more mightier. This can be found on all slots and a various of perks, depending on how you want to apply it. Some are 16 hits, get a damage buff. Defeat three enemies, damage buff. Melee crit, damage buff. Range crit, damage buff. You see what I mean here. But what matters is finding that one way or that one perk that applies it in the way that you play the character the most. For example, sometimes activated after 16 successful hits can be a bit harder. I mean, for Kamala, unless you're doing the polymorph and then spinning around or embiggen and spinning around, it might be a little bit harder to get 16 hits compared to Thor when you're spamming the Odin Force and constantly getting the 16 hits, or Black Widow with her full auto pistols. So range crit and melee crit are probably your best options for triggers on these, which those can be found on slots one and two a lot of the time. Um, and then mixing this perk with the Tachyon Surge perk, it both being triggered by that range crit attack are going to give you a unicorn piece like you can see on screen that I have on my Thor right now, which this piece probably is never coming off as it also rolled with Valor, Precision, and Might. So there we have it, the five perks that you probably can work on any build that you do, any kind of status build, a uh, certain type of you know, your Might, whether you're all melee, all range. Any way you spin it, these perks on any build will work and make your hero that much stronger. Let me know in the comments below what you think, or is there another perk I missed out on that is key to any build that you do? As always, heroes, stay amazing. Until the next one, bye-bye.